I'm here with Dr. Bernard Kuhler. You're the Chief Executive Officer of Swiss Lake, based in Switzerland. You founded the company in 2004. What sort of advice does the company offer? Well, uh, Swiss Lake is uh, generally um, providing clients with a service that we structure funds for them, yeah, we structure portfolios, we set up platforms, um, and to do that, yeah, we, uh, uh, we uh, created uh, the biggest um, database in real estate private equity over the last six years. Uh, which includes around 3,000 funds at, at the moment, all non-listed, uh, and uh, which is m uh, representing around 1,150 fund managers all over the globe. So it's a very big uh, uh, B2B platform. And where are the majority of your clients based? Well, the majority of our clients is based in Germany and Switzerland, yeah. And uh, we opened up an office in Singapore in 2007 already. So uh, we also have some uh, uh, very interesting Asian clients. Why does the real estate private equity industry stand today? That's a good question. Uh, you can describe the real estate private equity a little bit as a chameleon. Uh, so it changes color um, quite fast. Um, we've seen till, till the Lehman crisis, we've seen a lot of opportunistic and value-add fund, yeah, which really represents also the name private equity. Yeah. And uh, nowadays, uh, the appetite of investors has changed. Yeah, so it's now shifted more to core funds. Uh, depends where, where you, which countries you're looking for and which kind of investors you're looking for. And where did investors go wrong? What should fund managers have done differently? Well, um, it's a good question because um, a lot of investors are not very familiar with the real estate private equity funds. Yeah. So uh, the fund prospect himself is just a shell yeah, and you have to fill the shell with side letters yeah, to give the shell life. Yeah. What you don't regulate in the side letters um, that's what you don't get afterwards yeah? and um, that's what we take uh, uh, care for when we advise clients yeah? that you really get the best advice, that you get all the rights he, he needs to have yeah? to not have problems in the future. So what are institutional investors looking for at this particular moment? Well, depends where you're looking for. I mean Europeans um, um, are very much looking for core, a lot of them get hurt a lot yeah? so they're looking for uh, dividends so 5% returns, cash on cash every year. That's excellent working for them. And we can see that in the database. Yeah. So as an average, we had around 20-25% um, around, uh, over the last 10 years uh, going core. And now we see more than 50% of the fund managers launching core funds. So the fund managers is uh, following the, 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 let's say, the appetite of the investors. And what do you think they'll be looking for in one or two years' time with this change? Well, it has definitely has to be changed because um, um, there are more and more opportunistic um, pro, um, kind, kind of situations coming um, on, on, um, in the, into the market. So, um, and, and investors should go for higher returns, 10 to 20 percent again, and this is uh, definitely possible. So, I hope that that the, the market will shift in back again more to opportunistic and to value add funds. Dr. Kula, thank you very much. You're welcome.